Lee Ruff will be our first speaker. And Mary is Lee's evaluator. Mary, can you read Lee's objectives for us, please? Lee's objectives today to select the right words and sentence structure to communicate your ideas clearly, accurately, and vividly. Use rhetorical devices to entice and emphasize ideas. Eliminate jargon and unnecessary words. Use correct grammar. Time is five to seven minutes. The title of Lee's speech today is, I Say, Go East. <laughs> now, Lee's lived in the area since 1962. And like many of us who have lived in northern Nevada for a long time, we really don't know that there is land to the east of Fallon. <laughs> After all, Highway 50 is the loneliest highway in the world. Today, Lee Ruff is going to give us some of his thoughts. I say go east. Lee Ruff, I say go east. Are you stuck? Are you afraid going past Mustang on Interstate 80? <laughs> Do you know that there's a land out there further than that? Do you always stay in the locus of the Reno Sparks area? I say go east. Enjoy the sights the sounds, the smell of the small towns and the wide open spaces of our beautiful state. Only rocks are stuck. They can't move. Are you rocks? An old Nevada once told me there's a secret about Nevada. You want to know what it is? He was an old timer from Alkali Springs. You probably want to find out where that <coughs> is, huh? He told me the secret to Nevada is we hid all the beautiful things away from the highway. All the highways that were purposely built in Nevada are in the most desolate parts. <laughs> That's the secret of Nevada. If you want to know where Alkali Springs is, it's between Goldfield and Tonopah on a dirt road. It doesn't exist anymore. Everybody been to Lovelock? I love Lovelock. Some of us know somebody that lives in Lovelock. <laughs> I got to work there one summer, and that's the first place I ever got to sit at a drugstore ice cream parlor counter. Can you believe that there was still an ice cream parlor still operating in the United States? I had a great summer that year. Horseshoes. They play horseshoes in Love Walk. They even have a racetrack there. Unbelievable. Has anybody ever been to see the Ichthyosaurus? I am with my grandson because he's going to be a paleontologist. You have to go through the ghost town of Berlin. Ever heard of Berlin? Wonderful place. I got to go down Rattlesnake Road. It's dirt, but your two-wheel drive can make it. It takes you all the way to Highway 7. 22. Does anybody know where 722 is? It's right past the shoe tree. Um, oh, wait a minute. There is no more shoe yeah. tree. Oh, damn. Somebody cut it down. I've been through the ghost town of Grantsville, which hasn't been abandoned that long. I've been stuck there. 
Well, almost stuck there. Luckily, I had horses with me. <laughs> you looking for the redwood forest? Uh, you're not going to find it in Nevada. However, if you go to the Monitor Valley, you're going to find these huge forests with pine trees and aspens and so much water, you're going to say, why are they hiding this beauty? You ever been to Austin? When you get to Austin, make sure you have lunch at the International Hotel. Mm -hmm. Or breakfast at Tayobi. The last time I stayed in Austin, motel with my wife. We paid $29. <coughs> you think that there's a motel around here that you're going to pay $29 for? Sand Mountain. Has anybody been to Sand Mountain? It looks pretty small compared. But when you stand next to it, it's huge. You can have a lot of fun out there. On your way there, on that lonely highway, as John mentioned, on your way to Ely, you must go to the Railroad <coughs> Museum. I was there, and it was before season, and the guy says, ah, come on in, go through the shop. My wife and I are wandering around the railroad shop. It was wonderful. Ah, what an experience. Then we went on to visit some friends in a little town called Baker. Anybody ever heard of Baker? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What's next to Baker? One of the wonders of the world, the Lehman Caves. If you have not been in a cave, you need to go to the Lehman Caves. You'll have a great time. That's the only place I've ever been in the whole world where the graffiti on the ceiling is protected by federal law. <laughs> <laughs> Highway 375. Does anybody know what that is? Ever heard of the extraterrestrial highway? That's Highway 375. And in the middle of that is a little town called Rachel. And you've got to go to the Alien Inn and have breakfast and visit with the locals. You'll have such a great time. There's many small towns in Nevada that you could go visit. Like, Man like Manhattan in the end of the Smoky Valley. <coughs> Did you know there was a Manhattan in the Valley? Yeah. <clears throat> that the old bank building is still standing with the old vault? It's not open anymore, but two bars and a lot of people from the Las Vegas area are moving to Manhattan to get the heck away from you know what. <laughs> even got a nine-hole golf course down the road. Can you believe that in the middle of nowhere? <laughs> There's a nine-hole golf course. How many people in this room have been in Nevada, a resident of Nevada, for over a year? Everybody's been a resident. What's holding you back? What rock are you tied to? <coughs> I encourage all of you to go explore Nevada find the unique places and you'll be amazed at what you're going to find.